Hello and welcome to Tutorial to You. My name is Yannick and in this video I want to show you how you can create mock data which is some sort of fake data that you can use for any kind of purpose. Let's say for example for test driven development. So I just created an X unit test project and we will install the auto fixture package that you can see right here. So if you want to follow along, go ahead and install it. Now afterwards, I really don't care too much right now about the overall project structure. So here I have a public record, which is person, and we have two properties, name and age. And here we have our class, which contains a single unit test, which is called test person. Now, as I already mentioned, we are using X unit right and we will make use of the auto fixture package that we have just imported so now inside of our test person right here maybe we don't want to create persons manually let's say you have a huge list of people for example you don't want to create them manually right you don't have a database to fetch all of that from so you want to get rid of all those dependencies and this is where auto fixture comes in handy so if you want to use all the fixture for that we will first of all create a fixture object so let's say fixture equals to new fixture now we want to create a mock of our person class or record this is why we create another person and now we can use the fixture to simply create an object of type person now the properties so name and age will automatically get filled in so any kind of random data will now get set as the assigned values for those properties now finally we can just for our test driven development approach use assert to define the passing state for our test so let's assert that we have an is type of person and we put in our fixture created person object now if i hover above that you can see that it's person so that one should definitely be true now next up just to uh, add some more assert states we can say not null so that we can really see that we have a value inside of our person dot name for example so that we know that fixture has added a value for our person's name when creating it right here finally we can say assert in range and then person uh, age minimum zero and maximum for example int dot max val sorry int dot max val there we go max value awesome Great, so now we have three assert states like is it a specific type, is it not null and is another property inside of a specific range. On the left side you can see that I have ncrunch installed Well, it provides me real-time feedback on code changes uh, related to my test. So every time I change something in the code, so let me say I just remove those two asserts here. You can see on the left side that it's compiling and running again. So it automatically got tested and provides me some real-time feedback. It's an amazing tool. It's called ncrunch. You can find the link in the description if you want to check it out. Now, we can for sure also not only let fixture handle all of the values, right? So string name and age now get set by fixture, but we can specify it a little bit more. Now, before we dig deeper into the topic of mock data, go ahead and check out our c -Shop Progress Academy. It's a self-paced online course that teaches you in-depth ASP.NET Core, Angular, unit testing and even c -Shop software design patterns. We offer a 14-day money-back guarantee and I'm absolutely sure that this is the fastest way on how you can progress as a developer. So go ahead, check it out. You can find the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you no longer miss any upcoming c -Shop and .NET related videos. Great. So as I already said here in line 14, we just create the person object or we let fixture handle it on its own. But we can also help it or specify it a little bit more so that we really have an impact on how the person in the end looks. So instead of calling the create method, we can also call the build method. Now we will build again an object of type person, but now we can just add additional methods at the end. Let's say with, and then we simply add an arrow and say person dot name. And now we can just say, for example, like John Doe. So the name of the person that gets created will be John Doe. The age will get created by fixture. Now, finally, we have to call create again. 
Great. So we could for sure do this with H2 and any other kind of property. So this is how you can specify specific properties if required. Now let's go to our assert not null. Let's change it to equal and let's check if our person dot name has a specific value, which should be Johnny, for example. Now you can see on the left side that the test is now failing. And this is because for sure we are setting the value to John Doe and not to Johnny. So once we check that, make it correct, set it to John Doe, the test is passing again and everything works as expected. Great. Now that's it for this video, but I got one last tip for you. Right now we have just created a single person, but you could also go ahead, use fixture and then create many to create an entire collection. So you could say create many persons and then let's say 100. And now we will end up with an enumerable of uh, 100 person objects. So let's rename it to people so that we have a final list. And then we check for the equal again, but we will check for people dot count. So we simply count all the elements inside of our list of our uh, enumerable and we have 100 elements and you can see on the left side that the test is passing again. So this is how you can create like a collection of mock data. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumb up and make sure to check out our C Shop Progress Academy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back in the next video. Have a good one.